Welcome back. This is part five of how to make an iPod poster. We have Mr. Fiesel cut out. We've applied a mask to him and cleaned up some of the edges where we need to do some fine tuning to our cutout. Now we're ready to add the logo, make our cutout black and white, and do a blend. We do not want to damage this original cutout we've done. So we're going to make a copy of it. On my layer panel, I'm going to select the layer, right click on it, and tell it to duplicate. I'm going to name it Fiesel BW for black and white. Then I'm going to make the original one invisible. I'm going to double click on it and rename it original. So that'll always be there if I want to come back to it, but it's right now it's hidden. You see if I click on the eyeball here, it hides the layer, what's in that layer, or I can turn it on. And there's two of them there right now. Now with the black and white Mr. Fiesel, I'm going to make him black and white. Actually what I'm going to do is make him a grayscale. I'm going to take the color out of him. We call this desaturating. We don't want to change the color mode of our image, but we do want to make his layer appear as a grayscale. To do that, we're going to come up to the image menu, make an adjustment to that layer only, and we're going to desaturate. There. The next thing we want to do is create dramatic contrast of lights and darks. We don't want a lot of gray. We mainly want dark shadows, a few white, whitish highlights, and then, but we want the iPod to stand out as pure white, which right now it's, it's looking good. Let's go to the image menu again to adjustments, and we're going to adjust the levels. And we're going to grab the wedge for the shadows and start pulling up. We're going to pull up on the grays and then pull down to the left with the highlights. And let's just, we're going to just play, every picture is different, so we're just going to have to play around with it and see what you get. We mainly want a silhouette, we don't really want to see the person's face but we do want to see a little bit of highlight. There. Now, can you see why it was important to get rid of those white edges? Can you see how some white glow is starting to show up around him? Now, we're going to need to get rid of that, but uh, that's why we wanted to make a good cutout to begin with. We don't want any of these white edges. It, it makes it look too cut out. All right, let's say okay to that. Now we're going to blend him with the background. We're going to keep this layer selected and go to the layer panel and go to the word normal at the top of the panel and look at our blending list. We're going to ask this to overlay. I believe that's the one we like the best. No, not overlay, sorry. Um, let's try luminosity. There we go. So we want the person to kind of blend some with the colors in our background. But what luminosity does is leaves anything that's really pure white kind of stays white. We could turn the opacity down a little bit. To tone down the white. Again, we want a really white bright iPod and wires and headphones and we want the person to just kind of be secondary. So this looks good. So I'm going to save this again. Replace. That looks good. Now we're ready to add the logo and the wires and the headphone. So that'll be in part six.